Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whenever. Welcome back. Happy Fire Prevention Week. Today is our fifth and final day of our West Bradford Fire Company open house. We're going to be going over some of the gear that we wear. Obviously, you know, it's very extensive. We're always going to have different gear, always new technologies coming in and out. So first off, we got our helmets. This is our signature mark, obviously. And then uh, we have two different types of helmets, as you can see. We have orange lids and we have green lids. Now the difference between the two is this means that you are exterior, which means you work outside the house, either opening up a fire hydrant or throwing some ladders. This is where it means you work inside the house um, with the hose line and search and rescue. Next, we're gonna be moving on. Obviously, you got some wrenches, you got some um, seat belt cutters, a window breaker for car accidents, things like that. And uh, now we come to the boots. The boots, you know, firefighters, we just put on our boots and pants in the morning like you guys do, except our boots and pants, they're fireproof. So here we have our bunker jacket. Uh, this is rated up to 1500 degrees, so we can go into very hot environments with this and the bunker pants. We also have a vest that we use for when we're in the road, either at a traffic accident or on traffic control. This does come off at the fire scene, though, because it melts at very low degrees. Next, we got our fire gloves and our extrication gloves. So this is used for vehicle rescue, um, all sorts of rescue. This is used for fire. This is meant to be fireproof. Those are not fireproof. Here we have our Nomex hood. You put this on as such, and it protects the back of your neck, the front of your neck, and your eyebrows. And your eyebrows. Um, from getting burnt up in a fire. Next, we have some of our gear that we keep in our pockets. Obviously, we have our safety goggles. You always wanna protect your eyes. We have our wedge for keeping the doors open when we go inside a house so we can find our way out. We have some scissors. These scissors are very good because they can cut open clothes. They can cut open all sorts of things if we need to help somebody um, who's bleeding out. We have a flashlight so we can see in the dark. We have a spanner wrench, we use this um, for opening up hydrants and closing hydrants. We obviously have our mask for COVID-19 purposes. We have webbing. Webbing's like rope, but it's a lot stronger, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. All right, so here we have our wildland gear. So um, unlike the bunker gear that I showed you earlier, um, we actually use this for brush fires and forest fires just because the material is a lot lighter. So we have two types of wildland gear at West Bradford. Um, we have our full Nomex jumpsuit, and we have our two-piece set. They come with this yellow helmet. It's a lot lighter. Um, the purpose of actually all of this gear is just be a lot lighter. So we got the full-piece jumpsuit you see with Firefighter Hannah, the two-piece set you see with Firefighter Chris. Um, we also have these gloves, also meant to be lighter than fire gloves, meant to have more of a grip, because you're doing a lot of different things than you would be inside of a house. You're working with tools, not just working with hose. All right, so here we got our air pack and mask. Right here we got the cylinder. This is where all the air is stored. Uh, right here we have our pressure gauge. It sits right here on our chest. and can tell us exactly how much air is left in the bottle. We have our buddy breather and say, you know, I'm running low on air, we're in a fire. And then firefighter Brian has a full tank. I can connect right into his tank and then we can keep on going. And right here we have our mask. We use this. You know, we put it on our face because a lot of times the fire, the smoke, it's not safe to breathe and we're trying to stay as safe as possible as we're trying to save the day. All right, so I want to show all y'all how to put on a set of firefighter gear, but we're trying to make it fun, you know, it's a virtual open house. So firefighter Brian Moore and firefighter Dylan Smith, you know, they're going to race each other so you can put it on the fastest. All right, give me a countdown. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. Are made. I'm cranking 
Alright, so obviously I think Brian won. Dylan got caught up in that zipper. So not gonna not gonna worry about the pass. Let me go over what everything looks like. So you see, you got the hood right here. Obviously, you got your mask, you got your air pack, you got your helmet, your jacket, your pants, your boots, everything. Um, all his gear is gonna be in his pockets. He's got his wedge up here. Um, and as you can tell, you know, kind of sounds like Darth Vader, something like that. Um, you know, just remember not to be scared. They're here to help you. So if you hear that, you know, it's a good thing. Um, you also hear if the, you hear the little beeping and then they shake. Uh, that's to make sure that everyone, all the firefighters are moving. So if it keeps beeping, yeah, just like that. And they shake, the bottle knows that it's all good. But if they don't move, then we know something's up and we can run in and help them. Go over the technique that we use when we're going into a building. It's very similar to the one that we went over on Wednesday of stay low and go. You guys want to show them? Let's go. Good. Notice how the smoke is up high. So that's why they're staying low. Like iron from the fire Getting stronger This is how legends are